What up guys, me Patrick LeVar. In this video, we're taking a look at the community photos. Check it out. What up guys, welcome back to another video here. Uh, we're gonna take a look at some of the community videos. I missed um, a couple of uh, weeks back, so I wanna kinda go back and share some of the photos. Very good photos coming in there, guys. Um, ever since we did the last video where I talked about Visco, I've seen that some of you guys have got onto the Visco app, and just I, the, the quality of some of these photographs are fantastic. So I'm really happy to, with everybody, and I kind of I kind of see some people starting to try to actually create their own looks and their own vibes, and that's what this is all about. Trying, you know, when you when you take the photos and when you edit your photos, you want to edit them to your style you want to create a style start to create you know hey when you look at my photos you guys kind of know that oh that's LaVar style with the cinema that have the cinema type like look and stuff like that so uh, experiment try to figure out what you what you like and then you know kind of share it with the community so enough of my jibba jabba let's get into the video Fantastic photos, aren't they? I mean, I'm really happy with this, with the level of the where where the community has gone up to, and we're almost reached. We're almost at a 500 members, so that's fantastic. Definitely, you guys, let your friends know. If you got friends who are into photography, they want to start taking pictures, let them know what we do here. Share the link, and definitely on the notification when you guys hit the sub, I click that little bell. You'll get a notification, more personal, direct to you when I release new videos. I'm gonna start to put out a lot more lesson videos with the photo editing, and um, all. Also, I know I've been getting a lot of requests to start doing some editing tutorial style videos. Um, I'm going to really try to work on that. 
I have purchased the new camera here. Don't get, don't get scared guys, I'm still gonna be supporting heavily on my cell phone, but this is gonna help me to possibly get some more B-roll. Basically, when I'm, when I'm out filming with my, 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 uh, my camera, or I'm using the, the Xenu uh, Smooth Q, uh, a lot of you wanna see the movements and things that I do, and it's hard to show you because I'm using the cell phone. And my old Sony Expedia doesn't work too well to, uh, for me to use. So this second camera, I'm gonna have it off to the side and kind of basically capturing when I'm out filming so you guys can see uh, from a first person view more like what I'm doing so that should definitely help and I'm also going to start to um, there's going to be a sub level now also on the page here you know I'm still heavy with the with the uh, cell phones but I'm gonna start as I'm learning how to use this uh, mirrorless Canon uh, mirrorless Canon I'm basically using a Canon EOS M, it's their first camera that they ever released that has it's mirrorless so it's not like the big DSLR camera with a mirror in it it's very small very compact and it's actually almost the size of my cell phone which is fantastic but it also has interchangeable lenses and it has the ability to shoot in auto mode or manual mode and I'm if you guys know from my photos and from everything I do with the videos I'm all about manual mode and I can tell you one thing, when I took it out of the box and I threw it into manual mode and I started snapping photos, they looked horrible. I mean, just it, it's a big learning curve here. So I'm having to reteach myself how to take really good, clean, sharp images using all the manual settings. But it's a journey that I'm really looking forward to. So I'm gonna uh, set aside now another playlist and it's gonna be with the Canon EOS. So if you guys are interested, I will drop some links down to, I don't know, you may be able to still purchase this camera new, but I did purchase it used for a great price with the lens and it's a great starter camera that's not gonna break the bank. So. Literally, I paid less than two, 200 US dollars for this camera. So um, don't be surprised, there will be another playlist with the Canon EOS. And as I'm learning to use this, again, I'm gonna teach you guys just like we're going through and we're learning about how to use the cell phone. It's gonna be the same thing. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button if you do. Definitely down in the description is a list of all my equipment, things that I use, uh, the link for the community group. And I'll catch you guys next time. Keep filming, this is Patrick Lamar. Peace.